Namaste, yogis. Welcome to the Aloe Yoga flagship store here in Beverly Hills. My name is Andrew Seely, here to guide you through an arm balancing flow. Go ahead and subscribe to watch more videos like this. Like and comment below to let us know what you think. For this arm balancing flow, we'll go ahead and get started at the top of the mat. Bring your feet together. Engage your quadriceps. Turn your toes on. Spread them out. Ground down into your mat. Feel your tailbone tuck as you engage your body, drawing hands to heart center. Allow your chest and the crown of your head to lift towards the heavens. Nice deep inhale, lengthen up, reach up, breathe up, exhale, forward fold. Inhale up halfway, plant your hands, bend your knees, step hop, jump it back. Inhale to your up dog, exhale, down dog. Three breaths. We'll start off with three Surya Namaskar A allowing the warmth of your body to warm up your muscles and focus your mind. Bend your knees, look in between the hands, step, hop, or jump it forward. Inhale up halfway, exhale, full forward fold. Inhale, rise, exhale. Find fluidity here in your flow. Two more just like this. Planting the hands, bending the knees, step hop, jump it back, inhale up, exhale down dog. Spread out your toes, really find that your heels reach down and back. If they don't touch your mat, it's all good. Wherever you are in your practice is exactly where you need to be. Just continue to practice here with me. Utilize the breath, go ahead and bend those knees, look in between the hands, step hop, jump it forward. Inhale, exhale. Rise, one more. Relax your head and neck. We'll bring the right leg up to the sky, warming up the core, draw the knee to the elbow. Inhale, up and back, lengthen. Knee comes to your nose. Up and back, lengthen. Knee goes across the body. Hold it here. Lift the hips for three. Draw the ankle in for two and one. Go ahead and extend the leg out. Find the toes, side edge of your foot, on the ground as you reach the left hand up, opening up your heart, lift your chest. Find that the hips lift for three, two, one. Bring the left hand back down to your mat. Find plank in your arms and lift that right foot up for three, two, one. Nice, lowering down chaturanga, inhaling up to your up dog, exhaling back down to your down dog. Three deep breaths to reset your body, clear your mind. Left leg reaches up, draw the knee to the elbow. Inhale up and back lengthen, knee comes to nose. Inhale up and back lengthen. Knee goes across the body. Hold here for three. Use your breath. Push yourself away from your mat for two. And one. Extend the leg. Draw the toes towards the shin. Reach the right hand up. Lift the hips. Up, up, up. Use your breath. Left arm nice and strong. And one. Bring that right hand back down to the mat. Lift the left leg up, 
pull the toes towards the shin, feel the engagement of your core, lift up, breathe up, lengthen up, step back, chaturanga, down dog. Go ahead and take a gentle bend in the knees, look in between the hands. We'll step the feet to the outsides of the hands, coming into Malasana, opening up your hips. You can bounce side to side here. Find fluidity, find some flow. Lift your chest, sink your hips. We'll go ahead and set up for our first arm balance, which is Bakasana. Place your hands on your mat, bend your knees, get your knees as close to the underarms as possible. On the backs of the triceps is perfectly fine. Don't rest them on the elbows. We want to find a stack into the muscles rather than into the bones. Utilize your breath here, nice deep inhale, look forward, glance forward, draw one heel up and then the other. You can press your arms to straight. Nice deep inhale, we'll hold for three, two, one, shoot it back, chaturanga, inhale up, exhale down dog. Nice deep inhale, right leg reaches up to the sky, look in between your hands, step the foot in between, we'll rise up for warrior one. Exhaling as we expand into warrior two, back foot parallel to the back of the mat. Reversing the warrior. Exhaling for side angle pose. Finding engagement in the core here will bring the elbow stacked on top of the knee, allowing the left rib cage to reach up to the sky, breathing up, lengthening up, Bring both hands to the front of your mat, engage the core. Nice deep inhale all the way back to warrior two. Windmill hands come down to your earth. Step the foot back. Inhale up. Exhale, down dog. Nice deep inhale. Step the foot to the top of your mat, set up for warrior one. Rise up, breathe up, lengthen up. Exhale, warrior two. Find the back foot nice and strong. Leg lifts, front knee reaches towards the front corner of your mat. Stacking knee over ankle. Reverse the warrior. Windmill, the hands come down. Whew. Right hand reaches up and over. So find that the rib cage reaches up towards the sky. Deep inhale here. We'll go ahead and stack. Elbow over knee, engage the abdominal. So find the scoop of your tailbone. So you reach the hand forward. Deep inhale. Exhale. You got it. Use your breath. Inhale back to center. Ah, warrior two. Windmill the hands to the ground. Step the foot back, lower down, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. We'll go and allow these elbows to touch the ground. Then tap it back up for five, four, three. Warming up the lats. Opening up the triceps, good work. Down dog is where we're going next. Nice, go ahead and drop your knees, coming into cat-cow position. So we're gonna set up for our next arm balance. We're gonna extend both legs forward, drawing the toes towards the shin. Nice deep inhale, reach up, breathe up, lengthen up. Forward fold first, warming up the hamstrings. Awesome. 
Draw the right knee into the chest. Good stuff. Now, we're going to bring the foot into the elbow and rock it side to side. Draw the toes towards the shin, opening up the hip and the glute. You'll need it, I promise you. We'll come into compass pose next. Allow the elbow to draw back the thigh of your right leg. And maybe you can stack the leg on top of the shoulder. Lift the chest up, draw the toes of the other foot towards your shin. We'll take the left hand on the outside of the right foot, coming onto the fingertips of the right hand. Lift your chest, extend through the hamstring, breathe up, lengthen up. So this is a press pose. This is a prep pose for your Ekapada Kundinyasana. Uh, awesome, awesome pose. And also for our eight angled pose. We'll go ahead and jump into those in a second. But right now we gotta warm up them hamstrings for three, for two, and one. Draw the foot back on top of your shoulder. Hug the leg in, so you're really hugging it in towards your midline. Plant your hands and lift. Nice, you'll need this. So use your breath for three, for two, one. Come back down for a little baby rest. Maybe you reset your leg, drawing the leg in towards your midline, hugging your quad in towards your bicep. Utilize your breath, deep inhale. Exhale, push yourself up. Now we'll bring the left heel on top of the right and press the legs to straight. Bending the elbows into chaturanga, lifting the chest. Nice deep inhales. Back to center. Whew. Nice. Great work. <laughs> Bring both legs in. Extend them towards the top of your mat. Deep inhale in dandasana. Reach up, breathe up, lengthen up. Forward fold. Go ahead and reset. Breathing into your body here for five breaths. Nice, inhale up. Same thing, draw that left foot in. We're gonna bring the left foot to the crease of the right elbow. Nice, lift the chest, draw the foot to the inner crease of your right elbow. So we're hugging in the leg, allowing the knee to go to the side. If this hurts your knee, I want you to find right here. Simple. Allow yourself to be conscientious of your body. Only press yourself to the places that feel good. So we want the longevity of practice, to be able to practice for years beyond today. Nice deep inhales, deep exhales here. Nice. Rock it. You got it. Good stuff. Now, we'll go ahead and release the foot. Bring your right hand to the outside of the foot. Left elbow and arm winch themselves under the left leg. As you come up onto your fingertips, draw the toes of the right foot towards your shin and extend. Press the left leg to straight. Nice deep inhales, lift the chest. Reach up, breathe up, lengthen up. Maybe you look to the right. For three, slow down your breath for two, and one. Awesome. Hug that leg right over the shoulder, nice and close. Make sure it's a tight, tight, tight <laughs> little, what do you call that? Make sure it's a tight fit. <laughs> Make sure it's a tight fit. Use your breath here, arms in chaturanga. Get ready. Go ahead and press yourself up. Hold for three, for two, and one. Ah, settle on down. Catch your breath. Utilize the inhales and the exhales. Make sure we get that tight fit once again. If you're a little sweaty, you could also put a towel on your shoulder or under your knee. Nice deep inhale. Exhale. Push it up. Right heel on top of left. Extend. Squeeze the left arm. Chaturanga arms, lift the hips up off the ground. Find one single point of focus. 
Inhale back to center. Just as gracefully as you came in, you come out. <laughs> nice. Bring both legs forward. Shake out your legs. Inhale up. Exhale forward fold. You can do whatever grip feels best for you. Whatever you do, make sure the toes are open and they pull towards the shin. Elbows towards the ground as we lengthen the neck, allowing the biceps and triceps to do the work of lengthening our arms towards our feet. Nice deep inhale brings you back to center. Awesome work. Come back on your back body. Allow your fingertips to tickle your heels. Nice deep inhale here. As you exhale, push your hips up towards the sky. Take a deep inhale. Once you get to the top, interlace your hands. So now we're going to stretch out the body and do a little bit of counter posing for all the work we did in the upper body. So you lift the hips up, squeezing the legs together, almost as if you have a block in between your legs. Lift up, breathe up, lengthen up. Gently lower down. Ah, allow the hips to settle onto your mat. Nice work. Now we'll bring the knees into the chest. Legs go up and over. See if you can wiggle on your back, opening up the back. Allow your gaze to be direct, perhaps at the tip of your nose. Interlace your arms. Use your inhales and your exhales here as you press your feet away from your head. Two more breaths here. Engaging the quadriceps, pressing the knees up towards the ceiling. Deep inhale, as you exhale, bring your hands to your lower back. Hug your elbows in close together. Bring one foot up towards the sky and then the other. If you reach up into shoulder stand, you can adjust your hands. On your next inhale, Allow the knees to pull in towards the chest. Exhale, bring the knees to the outsides of the ears. Relaxing your upper body. Folding into yourself here. Allow yourself to come into a rest. Feel your heart beat. Gently release, allow the spine to come down onto your mat, vertebrae by vertebrae. Nice, and we'll go ahead and find ourselves in a happy baby. Arms to the outsides of the legs as you draw the knees towards your chest. Allow the knees to be as wide as your rib cage as you roll your lower back down to the ground. Open up your toes, use your breath. Nice, deep inhale. Exhale, gently release into Shavasana. Allowing yourself to rest, to release, to let the yoga do its work. As all the benefits of these postures sink into each and every cell of your body, focus on what you've accomplished with a sense of courage, compassion, and care, knowing that each day gives you the opportunity to try again. And as long as you give it your best, you'll continue to progress.
five more deep breaths. See if with each inhale you can take the breath to a space in your body that needs it most. With each exhale, release something that doesn't need to be tight. Could be a thought that's not needed, or it could be your glute muscles. On your next inhale, go ahead and put a movement into your fingertips, a wiggle into your toes. Draw the knees into the chest and allow your bicep to be like a pillow as you roll onto your right side. And at your own pace, find yourself at a comfortable seated position where your spine can be upright. Nice deep inhale as you draw the hands to heart center. Allow the eyes to be closed as you bow your chin to your chest, your brain to your heart in gratitude for your practice today. Giving thanks for this body strong, this mind focused, and this heart true. As you allow yoga to move through you. Bring the same sense of mindful awareness into the rest of your day as I bow to you. I say namaste. Namaste.